Hi friends. Myself Nagaya Suramat. I'm working as assistant professor in electronics and communication engineering. Now I'm going to explain analog experiment relaxation oscillator to generate rectangular waveform by using ARCAD software. So double click on design entry. So next go to file new project give the project name I'll give R E L L E X E T relax is an experiment analog or mixed mode analog to digital that you have to select then press OK then select create a blank project press OK so you'll get the page here in this phase we have to build the circuit diagram of relaxation oscillator so for the relaxation oscillator we need resistance capacitor op amp then dc voltage source then ground pins so those parts will get here in the place so select place piecewise component passive then resistance in this circuit I need total three resistances I will place three resistances in this space then I need capacitor so go this space component passive select capacitor place here then press escape come out from that symbol then I need voltage source place this space component source under source voltage source select DC voltage source DC I need two DC voltage source I place here two DC voltage source then I need op amp for that you go here at the right side place part is there just double click on place part you will get the libraries in this library add library click on add library so you will get the window browse files select all the files by pressing ctrl a in the keyboard and press open so once if you press the open all the files are added to the libraries so now you can search for op amp so op amp is so here op amp select the op amp once if you select op amp in the library related to op amp all the ICs are will display in the part list. I need mu a741. So search mu a741 in the part list. So mu a741. I selected mu a741. Double click on that mu a741 and place in the page. Press escape. Now you placed all the components and then connect it all the components according to our circuit so how to connect use wire so place wire select that place wire in the circuit r1 and r2 are shorted so short using wire then press escape to come out from the wire again if you want to connect again use the place wire so shorted end is connected to pin number 3 then pin number 2 is connected to the shorted end of capacitor and resistance R. So short these two. If you want to remove the wrong connections, just select that wire and delete. Take the wire short these two res resistance and capacitor the shorted end is connected to pin number 2 this R is connected to pin number 6 and this R also is connected to pin number Then from pin number 7, 
it is connected to the DC voltage source or positive terminal. Then pin number 4 is also connected to another VCC that is DC voltage source or positive terminal. Then press escape. Now we have to connect the ground. So here we have the place ground. Select that place ground here and select geo slash source. Press OK. Then place the ground wherever needed in the circuit. So one ground is needed for the pin number 4 and another ground is at for the pin number 7 and another ground for the pin number 2 at the capacitor terminal and another ground is required at pin number 3 for the this resistance or the resistance. So I place the grounds. After connecting all the elements according to the circuit diagram then we have to give the values for each element so here i have r1 this r1 value according to our design is 10k and r2 is also 10k because both r1 and r2 is equal and r value we got in the design that is 4.7k kilo ohm then capacitor is 1 microfarad 1 mu for mu in the keyboard you press u 1 u that is 1 microfarad ok and for DC voltage that is VCC pin number 7 is positive 12 so just give 12 volts and pin number 4 it is connected to minus VCC of 12 volts so give minus 12 volts press ok now I given values for all the elements in the circuit I represented the name of the elements this is R1 R2 both having 10 kilo ohm and this is capacitor 1 microfarad this is R 4.7k and pin number 4 minus 12 volts pin number 7 plus 12 volts and it's connected to ground this is also connected to ground this is to ground and this is to ground so now we completed the circuit connections so after completing the circuit connections and giving the values go for p spice here above you will get p spice select p spice then select new simulation profile give the new simulation profile name i will give m s create so once if you give the create it will ask for the time period so you have the window here simulation settings here i have to give the time period for that so i will give this for 0.4 second and start saving data after 0.3 seconds i will give apply ok now i have to connect the probe because I want to see the waveforms so here you have the probe select voltage probe I selected voltage probe I connected at the pin number 6 I want to see the output so output is at top amp is pin number 6 so I connected probe at the pin number 6 if you want to see the output here you have the run p spice just click on that run p spice you will get one window that is output window open that output window we can see the output waveforms that is what we are expecting square waveform so we can generate rectangular waveform from the op amp so we have rectangular waveform in this rectangular waveform so this is on period t on and this is p off if you found t on period and P off period then you can find out the T value T equals to T on plus P off you will get the T then if you take 1 by T you will get the frequency so whatever you are getting the frequency that should be nearer to your theoretical value if you like this video please share and 
subscribe suppose if you have any comments or any queries please contact to my email id naga double y a dot mscc at gmail dot com thank you